So here we have the back differential, I've already plucked it out and uh, we're just gonna loosey loosey a little bit and open up because it's gone. I used uh, 3 s Sleepo and uh, after that it uh, just got like really weird. So I had to open it up and yeah, so the like 3 teeth on the threads are like eaten up. Just gonna leave those two there. Be a little bit easier. Maybe they used too much of the Loctite. No, I got it. They used too much of the Loctite. I think you can barely get it open. So it's okay to use Loctite, but don't use too much. Got it. So now all both of the arms are loose. Now it should be just to open this one up. So it's this part that's been broken. So I've uh, taken everything apart and this is the part that's broken. You see it here, it's quite worn down. So it's still usable but it wouldn't just be like more to be maybe breaking it more or other parts. This thing looks pretty good actually. Can't see anywhere that this looks fine. And the drive shafts you see. It's uh, starting to get rusty already. So often it's in here it breaks. So this one breaks and then you have to replace this one because of the angle because there's it's like this and then they go around so they have to work pretty much instead of sitting like this. So yeah, we'll see what we'll do. Uh, anyway, I have to buy uh, some new parts for this one so um, I think I'm gonna pause here and then get some parts and then uh, I'll just continue with the film a little bit later. You won't be seeing this ready this day or you'll be seeing this ready like in one second but it will be a couple of days for me because I have to buy the parts and everything. So yeah until then I'll see you in one second but for me it will be like two days. Peace. So <clears throat> we have been to the store and uh, to fix this one we got a replacement kit with a 79 and we also got some shims. He uh, told me in the store that I should put shims uh, behind here so uh, that they come out a little bit more and uh, that should do the trick with the down punching on the differential. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it and uh, it'll do a little time lapse or something and I hope that this is going to go well. So here are the shims. I'm also gonna take um, all the spare parts that we used. I'm just gonna put them over here. So let's build the back differential. And there was nothing wrong with this one, I'm so happy for that. The gearbox is still intact. I really hope that this fits. Because some of my hex screws are really bad. Like this one is really bad. I can barely use it. And then I have to go for the manual ones. So let's try and see if this goes any better. Yeah, and that was way too big. And this was no problem. It's just that this way takes a little bit longer. Okay, <clears throat> so let's look and see how it is inside. Everything looks good in here. So this is the broken one and it's really tear down like three or four here. So that's with the first run on the with the 3S on the summit. This happens. Now you have to go and buy a new one. And we're going to need to put in some uh, grease inside here. We have some Traxxas silicon grease. Put in something in there, like so. Twist it around a little bit so everyone gets what they want. 
and now back in with the screws. So it wasn't so hard to change but once you got the part. I didn't got the part so I had to go to the RCA hobby store and get some new parts. And I always go to the one store inside in the center. Because I live right outside the city but we don't got any good RC stores that sells uh, Traxxas. So, and I don't want to order always. Sometimes you just want to go to the store, have a quick chat, nice chat with the RC people, get the parts you need right there and then. Go home and start to fix it up. I'm focused on the Sony, sorry. Sometimes the cameras won't work with you, but some other times they're really, really fine. Like this? I'm really happy with it. So now we're just gonna change out this one on the drive shaft. So I think that we can just do that at once. Why not? If you change one part, why don't you change the both parts? And that's just what we'll do. We'll be smart and we'll change both parts. Even though this car is practically brand new, I had to do this. I just had to do this like that. All new and changed. So now I'm just gonna put on the chimps. Like that, gentle, ladies and gentlemen. So here we got the broken one, and here we got the new one. Perfect. So now all we need to do is to put this one inside the car again. So <coughs> I think we're just gonna start by putting the back end together. So it's in one piece. Then we're gonna put some shins inside here also. I'm gonna put some more uh, grease in here, some Traxxas silicone grease, just gonna put it inside here, just spinning it around so it's like everywhere, very nice, very nice, let me put the lid back on. I thought it was a <laughs> put the wrong uh, no place. Do you need something to make more? Now it works perfectly fine, no stops, nothing. I'm really happy with this. I'm just gonna put all the skid plates and everything back on and uh, I'll uh, see you back right soon when it's done. So we're almost done, it's the last screw right now and everything went really smooth. Here is the old one and on this one is the new one. No stops, no clicks, no weird sounds or anything, just smooth, nice, growing summit, like this. So, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you had uh, good information on the, this video and I really hope that uh, if you liked it, you give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribing, please do and uh, yeah. 
If there's something you're wondering about, as always, just leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you in the next movie. Goodbye!